do you say when your friends turn away and you're all alone all alone tell me what do you give when you're giving your all seems like you can't make it through well you just stand when there's nothing left to do you just stand watch the lord see you through i want to preach from the thought crossing over to the other side crossing over to the other side in the text we find ourselves standing with Joshua and the children of Israel on the other side of the Jordan. This is a significant moment, a transitional moment for Joshua and the children of Israel. Here they are on one side of the Jordan and everything they want is on the other side everything they've been waiting for, everything they've been working for, everything they've been praying for, everything they've been asking for is on the other side. Is there anybody in the house today who knows what it feels like to be on one side and our dream on the other? And what I have come to realize is that everything we want is always on the other side of something. For us, everything we want is on the other side of fear, on the other side of our comfort zone, on the other side of pain, on the other side of illness. Everything we've been wanting and waiting for is on the other side of something. And when I think about transition today, Transition is all about trying to figure out how do we get to the other side. And the first thing we learn is simple. As we transition, follow God. And the ark always went before the people. So the people were literally following the presence of the Lord. It is important that during this time of transition, we are following the presence of the Lord. We should be following the Lord. But I'm going to tell you, following the Lord ain't easy. Following the Lord will cost us some things. Following the Lord will cause us to lose some things, some people, some relationships. Following the Lord will sometimes lead us into the wilderness. Following the Lord will sometimes lead us into battles. As a matter of fact, if you look back over your life, some of the biggest battles you had to fight came because you were following the Lord. But is there anybody here today who can say, where he leads me, I will follow? Is there anybody who can say, I'd rather follow God into the wilderness than to be without God anywhere else? Is there anybody in the house today who can say I will follow God up the mountain I will follow God in the valley wherever God leads me I will go because I just want to be in the presence of the Lord you, how does 